Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're watching A Ritter Bit Will Do and today I'm going to tell you what my opinion, all right, this is what my opinion is about the worst biggest waste of money attachment that you can get for your BX tractor. Some of you will agree and I think most of you are going to disagree but stick around and find out what it is. Before we get to the worst attachment that you can get for your tractor, let's do a little recap on my last video that I did. In my last video, we talked about the five, five different things Kubota needs to fix on their BX tractors because, in my opinion, they could do a better job. The first thing was this seat. This seat is rock hard. It's not very comfortable. I don't like it. I think Kubota could do a little better job on that. We also talked about these tires. I've now had three or four issues with these front tires from Kubota and they are just, I think they're undersized. They're undersized and the quality isn't that good. Not very impressed with these R4 tires. Definitely not my favorite tire. I also talked about this LA340 loader on the Kubota BX. This is the one with the quick attach and if you're going to get a loader, make sure you get the quick attach. Okay, you got to have this. Uh, it, is, it is a necessity. But the lift capacity of this loader, 613 pounds, it is not reaching its potential. Not at all. Not in my opinion. Kubota, got to do better with the loader. We also talked about this hydraulic uh, quick release. This is it's got a little handle back here that you lift up. And all four of these flat face hydraulic couplers release at the same time. And it is a fantastic idea. But mine leaks. I've had it replaced. It still leaks. But... A lot of you have told me that yours was replaced and it doesn't leak anymore. So maybe I have one of the earlier versions or the original version where they just tried to replace it and now they actually have an updated version where it doesn't leak. So if that's the case, great job Kubota. You did it. You fixed it. Awesome. And finally, I talked about these turnbuckles, these stabilizer turnbuckles. They are garbage. Look at that one's bent, right? <laughs> Not a fun day. But I've got those replaced with the Messix version of these telescoping stabilizers, and that is awesome. So, Kubota, you need to have that permanently. That needs to be a factory, not an option. It needs to be included from the factory telescoping arms for the BX three-point system. In that last video, I also told you that there's five other things that I wish Kubota would fix, and I am going to get to that in a different video. But today, this one is about the worst attachment, the waste of money attachment, in my opinion, that you can buy for your BX. So let's get to that right now. This flail mower, do you think it's the worst attachment? Absolutely not. I love this flail mower. If you're looking for a brush cutting device for your BX Kubota, a brush hog or a flail mower is your best option. I, I like the flail mower way more than the brush hog because you can make those tighter turns a lot easier and it takes up less room on the trailer when you're moving around with it. The flail mower is a fantastic option. It mulches everything. Definitely not the worst attachment you can get. The loader, is that the worst attachment? Absolutely not. If you're buying a Kubota BX, you need to get the loader with it. Don't buy a Kubota BX without a loader. It's just, it's so limited without a loader. You need one. Spend the extra money, get yourself a loader. Is the worst attachment you can get a snowblower? <laughs> not in my opinion. I have moved probably a half a million yards of snow, probably more than that. That's not an exaggeration. I move more snow with this snowblower than you can believe. I have a lot of fun making snowblowing videos. Those of you that have been watching the channel for a long time, you definitely know that. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You'll see a lot of snow moving videos come this winter. I know none of you are thinking that this grapple is the worst attachment because this is one of my favorite, all-time favorite attachments. This Artillion grapple is definitely a game changer. If you have a Kubota BX, the Artillion grapple, I think, in my opinion, is definitely your best option. Right here in the back of my truck are the Artillion forks. I keep them back here because I use them a lot. Wherever I take my tractor, it's always nice to be able to put the forks on if I need to. They attach to that Artillion fork frame and they are definitely not the worst attachment. They are awesome. They are very useful and one of my favorite attachments. 
Sticking with the Artillion theme, another thing that attaches to that Artillion fork frame is this trenching bucket. I love this 24 inch trenching bucket on my BX. It works great. It is a better option removing small stumps than it is to use my backhoe because it's so much faster. So if you've got a lot of small stumps and brush and stuff that needs to be, the roots need to be pulled out, the Artillion trenching bucket is fantastic. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite attachments. This six foot rear angle blade is not my favorite attachment, but it's also not my least favorite. It's not the worst attachment. I really like this when it comes to moving snow. In the winter time, paired with my snow blower, this is just a great companion attachment, all right? It's a good companion attachment if you have a front snow blower. Don't get a four foot angle blade, don't get a five foot, get yourself a six foot angle blade and uh, you won't regret it. All right, again, not my favorite attachment, but definitely not the worst one. The backhoe. The backhoe I don't use very often, and it's kind of an expensive attachment, but it's really, really fun to use when you have it attached to the BX23S. I love using this backhoe. I don't get a lot of uses out of it, but when I need it, I got it, and that's great. My neighbors probably find more uses for my backhoe than I do, but... <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy having it. If you have the extra money and you can afford it, get the BX23S, which comes standard with the backhoe. Not my worst attachment, definitely not. Um, one of my favorite things to use, actually. I also have a rear tiller. I don't have it here right now to show it to you, but it was kind of a funny little joke on the channel for a long time because I bought the tiller because I got such a great deal on it, okay? So that's why I bought it, and I never told my wife because it kind of looks like the flail mower, so she just kind of assumed that it was the flail mower, and uh, <laughs> she finally caught on, and she knows, and uh, she's not that mad, so that's a good thing. But a tiller is very useful. Uh, the rear tiller that I have really does a great job if you're a gardener and you have a lot of uh, a lot of garden to till up. Man, that thing's fantastic. Even if you're doing a little bit of landscape and you want to remove some humps from your yard or, or high spots or just loosen up the soil so you can scoop it up and put it somewhere else. It works great for that as well. So tiller is not the worst attachment. The worst attachment that I have is in this shed. So Let's go find out what it is. You guys are gonna have to excuse the mess in here. Here is my rear sprayer. It is a 24 gallon rear sprayer and I have it on one of these Harbor Freight uh, rear receiver for a vehicle cargo racks. And it works really, really well when I need it. Don't use it a lot, but when I wanna put down some weed killer or fertilizer on the grass, this is the way to go with the BX. Love it. So uh, again, not my worst. The Artillion front angle blade, this hooks up to my loader and it hooks up to the, uh, the Artillion fork frame. And it is just a fantastic way that I can move snow when the snow banks get a little bit high and I need to push them back a little bit. And I, I keep this handy in the winter time, just in case that snow blower that I have, which has moved thousands and hundreds of thousands of yards of snow, uh, if it ever breaks down, this is ready to go. So this Artillion angle blade is a great tool to have. So if you don't have a front snow blower, I'd suggest getting one of these. All right, you guys sitting down, okay? You ready for this? I, Cause I don't think a lot of you are. I think a lot of you are gonna disagree with me on this attachment. This attachment used to be one of my favorite attachments when I first got my BX. I used it a lot. I put hundreds and hundreds of hours on my BX with this attachment and I, got, I just got sick of doing that, okay? So I upgraded since, and I no longer use this attachment. This attachment is a professional quality attachment, and it comes factory from Kubota. Are you ready to see what it is? Have you guessed yet? <laughs> All right, it's right behind me. Right here, you guys. This is it. A mid-mount mower deck for your tractor is the biggest waste of money, in my opinion, that you can make for your BX. It does a phenomenal job. It cuts really nice. It does a great job. You get what you pay for. However, here's, here's why I don't like it. I've already mentioned that you put way too many hours on your tractor and it's just not worth it, right? You're using a four wheel drive diesel machine. Beautiful. You spent a lot of money on this tractor in the first place. And now all you're gonna do is cut grass with it. Mm -mm. No, there's other options for you, okay? There are definitely other options to cut your grass don't get one of these because you're going to use your tractor. You're going to use a front end loader. You're going to use the rear attachments. You're going to be putting things on and off. You're going to be doing all sorts of different jobs. And every time you have one of those jobs to do, you're probably going to end up taking this mower deck off. 
it's just a pain in the butt to take on and off. Okay, there's a system to it, and it takes a, it takes some practice to figure it out how to take it on and off. But it's just a pain in the butt, and then it's sitting on the floor and it's in the way, and you're pushing it around, and I don't like it. I got sick and tired of it, so I upgraded to a zero turn. Okay, I upgraded to a zero turn this year or last year, and it saves me so much time. And instead of putting hours on my tractor and maintaining this mower deck and everything else that goes with it, all I have to do is drive that zero turn and, and I can mow my lawn twice as fast with the zero turn. It's more comfortable and it's meant to cut grass and it works great. So if you can get a zero turn, if you can find a good used zero turn, right? These are worth, they're 1500 bucks brand new, 1700 bucks brand new. I could probably sell this for a thousand, okay? Uh, but I do keep it as a backup in case I do need it, in case something happens to my zero turn. But I, in my opinion, I think that this is just the biggest waste of time and money because it's putting hours on your machine. It's, it's just, it takes a long time to hook up and take off and it takes you longer to mow than it does with a zero turn. Again, guys, this is it. This is the worst attachment. Don't buy this. Don't buy this for your tractor. If you can afford a zero turn when you're purchasing your BX, do it. If you have an alternate way to mow your grass, if you can just buy a cheap garden tractor, right? Just a cheap craftsman garden tractor to mow your grass with, do it. Cause this is not worth it. That's my opinion. And it's changed over the years. That's, and this is where it's evolved to. Don't buy that. Okay guys, this right here is my zero turn. And yes, it's a Kubota. And the only reason that it is a Kubota is because I found a really good deal on Facebook Marketplace. I bought it used with 200 hours on it and the deal was too good to pass up at the time. So I was, I was thrilled to get it. And in fact, this, this seat right here is, is way more comfortable than the seat that's on my BX. I don't know why Kubota cannot put a better seat on the BX tractor. It doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. The, the zero turn seat is great. But I can mow the grass with this so much faster than I can with the BX. I can mow this almost, almost twice as fast. I really can. I can mow the grass almost twice as fast with this zero turn. It was definitely worth it for me to purchase this zero turn. I would love to get rid of that mid mow mower deck, but if this ever breaks, um, I can always go back to that and use it until I get something to replace it again. Uh, but if you can't afford if you can't afford a zero turn, because they're expensive brand new, they're ridiculously expensive right now. If you can't afford one, look for a garden tractor, look for something used. Uh, anything is better than your mid mount mower deck. Don't dedicate your Kubota BX that you spent 20 some thousand dollars on with attachments and everything. Don't dedicate that for mowing your grass. There's no reason to put hours on your machine to mow the grass. Uh, a zero turn, a garden tractor is a much better option. It really is. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. If you've stuck around this far, I, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to the channel. Uh, if you wanna check out our Facebook group, it's called The Ritter Bit Will Do. You can go there, check it out. We've all, we're also on Instagram, we're also on TikTok. So check it out. I've got hundreds of videos on YouTube you can go watch too. So especially the wintertime ones when we're moving snow, those will be coming before we know it. And uh, I, I, I really appreciate you guys subscribing and commenting. Let me know in the comments. Am, am I way off basis here? Is, am I the only one that thinks a mid mount mower deck is a waste of money? I'm sure there's some of you experienced tractor owners out there that agree with me. So let me know down in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you. Let me know where you're from too. All right, you guys, until next time, keep on tractoring and God bless. Mm -hmm.